guys, what's poppin? Welcome back to my channel and happy new year guys. So if you're new year, this is Darshana Pote and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I post fun videos every week. So, so today I'm going to do the Huda Beauty palette review. That is the Desert Duck palette. The box looks like this. This is just the box. Inside it is the actual palette. Oh my god guys, look at the packaging. Can you see that? How beautiful it is. I am literally obsessed with this with this look. So I am going to try this look after the review. So stay tuned for that. So first I am going to do the hand swatches and then I am going to try this on my lids. And I am going to be brutally honest about it because I didn't get this in PR. I paid for it. So obviously I have certain expectations from it and if it doesn't fulfill that, I am going to say it loud. So if you are interested in this video, keep on watching. It has a magnet here that just has plastic inside here which again has the same look that is on the cover and this beautiful quality mirror. I have used this palette in my new year's makeup look so if you haven't seen them that go and check because Jay had did my voiceover in that and it's really really funny. So I have used this palette and look at it guys there is no sorry, there is no fallout at all in the palette so i am pretty impressed until now so in case you don't want the review and the swatches you just want to check out how i do that makeup look go ahead and when you see a hairband on my hair that's when the makeup thing starts so yeah let's get i am going to do swatches in this order okay so for the first shade is Desert Sand. That is a beautiful, beautiful nude layer. And it's really, really pigmented. Can you see guys? This Desert Sand is really very pigmented. Here comes the Desert Sand. Wow. It really gave a good swatch, okay? Now, going on for the second shade, that is Musk. That is a grayish grayish brownish kind of nude which I again like because I usually in day in day to day life we use all the neutral shades so these are really good see can you see that it's a matte shade okay pretty good right the third shade is Eden and which is a peachy shade which I love 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 too much like look at this guys such a beautiful peachy shade it is. Can you see that? Yeah, it's beautiful. And the fourth shade is Amber. That is a little warm tone brown. Like, can you see this? Can you see the difference between this is a cool tone brown and this is a warm tone brown? And these are really matte kind of shades. And these are really good for day to day life. Amber. the good, best thing about these shades is that the pigments are showing up. I have used around 5 to 6 palettes by now and yeah I have seen those kind of palettes which have zero pigmentation like you have to keep on building, 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 building yet there is no color or otherwise the shade that is seen in the pan is completely different on the uh, on your hand so I really wanted this kind of pigmentation. Then going ahead the next shade is the Blood Moon, which is kind of brown, glittery shade. It's a shimmer kind of brown. Again, a very good one for, uh, for you know, neutral eye daily look. Look at that. It's kind of good. It just has a little bit of fallout on my pan. The Blood Moon. Can you see that? Okay. 
look at that guys pigmentation oh my god that is gold literally gold just one swipe even no also just one swipe and such great pigmentation for a glittery shade wow i am loving it then the next one i don't know how to spell it o u d out is it coming down okay so the next shade is out that is kind of burgundy shade again this is good for a neutral eye kind of look look at that pretty it has more pigmentation than the shades of the fourth the next row it is the uh, celestial that is a beautiful rose gold kind of shade it's a beautiful look at that reflection oh my god beautiful and it so this one is the celestial i kind of expect, expected more from this shade but it's not seen on camera then the fourth one is a um, a light golden kind of shimmer and again it is a very good for some pencil oh my god it's kind of chunky look guys it looks very good in the pan but as soon as you take it on the hand finger it is kind of chunky there are little chunks of glitter which i'm not a great fan of but yeah it has chunk let's see how it works on the eyelid later let's not drag it over this cuz hands watches and eyelid performance is different so let's not judge it over that never to be which is kind of chunky i told you the glitter chunks have come, come on my finger and i don't like that so let's see how it goes on the hand okay it's good just those chunks are kind of annoying you can see that yeah it's better than the celestial one the uh, next shade is twilight that is kind of purple glitter shade shimmer shade and which looks like i think i will use this no so this is the glitter shade oh my god it looks like iridescent you know you can see that it looks like iridescent so this shade is perfect if you have a wow oh my god you can see it i guess on the camera but in real life it is looking so beautiful guys so beautiful like it is kind of iridescent shade which i am uh, recently obsessed with so i'm having this shade. i'm going ahead with amethyst that is a purple shade in matte a matte purple shade now this shade is really i have heard that purple shades whatever purple made me mad or made me glitter i thought that purple shades are really hard to create but this one kind of showed as it is in the pan like you see this is the shade and this is how it looks on my hand not really upset with it then going ahead with this one that is a a bit darker purple glitter shade and it's oh my god it's smooth as butter what formula is this I can keep on blending my finger like this. How smooth it is! I loved it. I, in fact, use this shade for my for my, my uh, New Year's look. Wow! Can you see that glow? Oh my God! Look how beautiful is that glow! I am loving it. Then the next shade is the retrograde. Okay. After reading this thing, retrograde, in my palette, I was so excited because. Pura has launched uh, her new palette that is named Retrograde, and it has so beautiful shade, especially the purple iridescent kind of shade. I am a great fan of it, and I really wanted to take that palette instead of this, but it wasn't available in India that time, so I had to take this. But when I saw this Retrograde shade, I was so 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 beyond excited for it, and that's why I was so beyond excited for it. And so in excitement, I did this, and saw. all the charms it is it is kind of not not reaching my expectation at all i expected it to be at least like these shades a little bit shimmer kind of purple shade at least like twilight the twilight is so good then why this retrograde is so bad i don't understand why it is so bad like it has chunks in it and i don't know maybe my expectations were high that's why i'm disappointed 
but it literally gives no color at all just some purple kind of glitters here and there and it's too chunky so i don't like chunky things especially on my lid so it's a big no no for this shade the next shade is cashmere it's cashmere see yes, it's cashmere and it's a beautiful again it's chunky see i don't know what's wrong with these formula it's in chunky the glitter i don't like that this one the nativity the retrograde and the cashmere i don't know why they are chunky but i expected more than that like i expected a better formula oh my god it's looking actually good on my hand look at that although it's chunky it showed up pretty well on my hand can you see that yeah although there is a lot of fallout in the pan and chunks of glitter on my hand but this shade literally showed up so well i'm impressed wow i was just blaming that formula and now look at it it slapped me in the face such a pretty shade now moving ahead there is this angelic which has kind of pink and golden glitter kind of shade mm even this is kind of chunky but let's not judge it because the previous one literally just slapped us in the face so let's not judge it on the formula and see how it works okay that's pretty can you see that although my swatch is bad here but can you see that wow it's a kind of rose gold shade here yeah it's a rose gold shade just there is a lot of pink in that so it's shining more like pink but it's perfect for any pink outfit a baby pink kind of outfit but with this one now this is another shade that i was really excited to try because look at it can you see that there is brown golden pink what not color glitters in that so i'm really excited to see how it works like am i going to be a fan of it oh my god wait a second what the hell just happened guys i am swiping over it and just can you see that only the glitter part is coming on my hand just the glitter it is literally the pressed glitter in the hand oh i think it will work good with a kind of spray or a primer on your base i think but not the big fan of this formula because look at that chunks that's what i don't like the chunky thing not a great fan of look how bad it is i just hope it works with the spray otherwise this shade won't be of any use to me so moving ahead the next shade is turkish delight that is proper pink glitter kind of shade so let's see how it works oh this is pretty okay this is proper metallic kind of pink i like metallic shades actually so this is really beautiful wow so good pigmentation i mean apart from this uh, blood moon it has It's even more pigmentation than than the blood moon guys look at that oh my god such a pretty pigmentation look at that it showed up so well going ahead is the saffron uh wait the saffron color that a tri color has right wait saffron is actually orange color according to my information if i'm wrong just correct me in the comment section but according to me saffron is a orange color that is on a tri color the saffron white green so i know saffron is orange not this kind of shade look at this This is kind of brownish, pinkish brown. Yeah, it's kind of pinkish brown shade. It's not saffron at all. I don't know how she named it. Okay, this shade is kind of similar to. Actually, it is in between these two shades. It's a matte shade, of course, and it's in between these uh, cool brown and warm brown. That is amber and oud out or whatever. it's between them and it's kind of okay like even if i mix these two shades i can get that shade so i really didn't need that one but it's okay 
So, going ahead to the last shade that is blazing, that is a burnt orange color, which I again like one because burnt orange gives you a proper like you can just put on some burnt orange on your lid and you're good to go like that a daily wear kind of thing. It looks good, right? So these are the swatches. Coming down, which is your favorite shade?